Welcome back, Magician. Hope you had a nice weekend, and thanks for logging in to Soul Garden. Well, sunny and childlike for the Pisces today. The moon, our focuser of emotion, now in Cancer, shifting emotions really to your inner child and your heart chakra. This actually started yesterday. So as of yesterday through today, your heart has been inspired by your emotions. I mean, your potential for love, your potential for joy has been inspired by emotions. So if you've been a cranky bear, if you've been kind of wanting to kind of act out like a child, that's your inner child, not happy, wants attention. And this is really the best thing to do. Today's a great day to do something creative, do something you love. This is a great romantic day because we love somebody and our heart chakra is alive. So joy and personal dreams really are the mantra for you for another 24 hours. If you're not feeling joyful, ask yourself why. So this is the one transit in the month where we're supposed to surrender to our inner child. Now zip into the sun. Today, Mercury is ruling the day. We're in chapter three of Sun in Gemini. Over the weekend, we had light cast day, the time to set your intentions in the month for, in your case, your home, your family, your groundingness, how you ground yourself, okay? This is root chakra. Grounding yourself, feeling stable, your sense of security. Today, with Mercury ruling the day, it's time to exchange information. We're gonna begin to now build this solid foundation that you will live on for another year until Sun comes back to Gemini next year. And so today, gather, gather your information, have conversations, talk to your landlord, talk to your roommate. Hey, this isn't really working out, I'm not digging it. Talk to the person that makes you feel insecure, okay? Because security is part of this, or a person that draws, takes your energy away and makes you have to go into a self-nurturing state. That is all part of this transit, being able to be grounded and centered. And today is a Mercury day, so you wanna gather and exchange information. And Mars, Mars is plowing ahead in an aggressive way in Virgo. As soon as Mars went into Virgo, I felt it right away. It means it's time for Pisces to move forward with long-term relationships and marriage and partnerships, whether that means you are ending one or beginning one or saying to the universe, hey, I want one. And Mars is trining Pluto retrograde in Capricorn for a few days. That means as you move forward with certain partnerships in your life, you may find that certain friendships go to the wayside. And this is all part of the process. You're gonna create, therefore you must take away. So you may have your attitude about who you are in society change by moving forward in your uh, relationships. You may have friendships change, but reconsidering your place in society is part of moving forward in relationships. And it's Monday, we have the final edition of Julie Zipper's Meditation Vibration in Gemini. This is her question and answer episode. So if you posted a question on YouTube or the mothership in the last 30 days, she may just have answered. Don't miss Julie, she's live everywhere Soul Garden streams. Well, Pisces, that wraps up the kickoff of this week. Now tomorrow we're gonna talk about Venus moving into Leo. Should be kind of dramatic. Until tomorrow, live love be. So God, no.